Hey everyone. So in our previous video, we have covered one to one merge. Okay, and uh, what are the prerequisites to apply one to one merge? So in this video, we will be covering few other scenarios like uh, one to many, many to one, many to many. So let me create one simple data set. Okay. Suppose I am creating this data. Okay, it is having some IDs and few names. Okay. Okay, there's some syntax error. We can replace this. Okay. You can see the ID and names. This first data set is created. Okay. And now I'm creating one more data set which is having few random amounts. Okay. And the uh, ID. So if you notice, we have tab delimiter between these two, you know, variable data. So how we can read this kind of data? Suppose I'm reading this data right now, it will give me some kind of error, okay? So you can see we have this missing data. If you want to read this, you can use in file, okay? And in file, you can apply cards. What is the delimiter? DLN is equal to 09x. So this delimiter is for tab. So we have tab delimited file, text file or, uh, if we are reading data through cards also, we can apply this kind of delimiter statement. Okay, so now you can see we have read the data in our second data set. Now you can see there are multiple transactions for each ID. So in this case, if we want to join these two different tables, we can join it with the help of prop SQL as well as data merge. But for again data merge, we need to sort our data with the help of prop sort. Okay, so I'm just writing a prop sort statement data equal to work dot a by id and run okay similarly i can write the code for second data set which is data work dot b and by id so that's how we can sort up a data sets and now we can merge these with the help of data merge So you can write merge statement work dot a work dot b and we need to specify by id so so if we run this complete code you can see the first data set is sorted the second data set is also sorted by id and the third data set which is having the all information from first and second so from first data set we have id and name and from second we have amount so this is the one to many relationship between two different data sets. Okay. Now, similarly, we can create many to one relationship also. So I can take this second data set as our first, and this one I will take as a second data set. Okay. So what we need to do for many to one relationship, we just need to, I'm creating one more data set, many to one. So we just need to, swap these two different data set in the merge statement. Okay, so you can see the similar kind of output, but it has the first ID and for one second, it has amount and on third place, it has name. Okay, so this is sim similar kind of information, but now the data set has many to one relationship. Okay. Now I have few other scenarios as well. Let me create different data sets for two scenarios. Suppose I'm creating a new data set, new one, okay, and it has three values, ID, name, and age, okay? I can give some values to ID, name, and age. A, suppose I'm taking name A, 10, to B, and 20, okay? I'm just putting only two rows for this example. And in second data set, I have ID, salary, and age again. Okay. okay. So for this ID, I have salary 100. And for this, I have 500. And suppose I'm taking ages 10 for first row. And for second row, I will take it as 25. Okay. So you can see there are two different data sets I have created. Oops, I pasted it incorrectly two times. Okay. 
So you can see the first data set has ID name and age, and second has ID salary and age. Okay. If I run these four, so it will create two different data sets. Okay. Work dot new, work dot new. If I join these two data sets with data merge statement, okay, merge new underscore one, new underscore two by ID. Okay, so see what kind of output I will get. So I will get four different columns or four variables which are ID, name, age, and salary. These are coming from both of the data sets. Okay. But if you observe the age is being replaced from the second data set. So for first, if you see first data set has age 20, but when we you know, merge it with the second data set, it is going to replace the first data set. So always it will take the value from the right hand side data set. If we have a overriding column. Okay. So if we have same variable and we are not you know, joining by that variable, so it will override the value. So this is the first scenario. Okay. Let me give you one more scenario. If I am creating a new data set, okay. Suppose X, I'm taking two different variable, ID and name, okay. And it has values like, one john two zen three sean okay. and in our second data set i have again same variables but these are having different ids okay so and this is by so if we run these codes, okay, so it will create two different data sets. Oops, I have not specified it as a character variable. So if I run these codes, okay, it will give you two different data sets, X and Y. Okay. Now if we apply merge on these two data sets, data merge X, Y. ID. So you can see in output data set, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six observation, which has two different column ID and name. So in this case, what happened? We have unique values in ID. So in case of unique value in two different data set for common variable, the data merge will append the data set. Okay. So this is the scenario of appending with the help of merge. Now, again, one more scenario I would like to create. Suppose I'm just taking this scenario. In first data set, I have value ID and name. And in second data set, I have X ID and name. Okay. And I want to join these two different data set with the help of data merge. So, what we can do because name of the variable are not same. So, we cannot directly join these two different data sets. What we can do, we can rename it on the go. We can apply this rename here x id equal to id okay so i applied this on by data set and see if i run this code you can see two different data sets x is having id and name y is having ID, x id and name and now i want to merge these so we can just you know run this code you can see id and name and we get all the values so this is going to rename at the runtime and it will you know rename the column x id to id for y data set and it is not going to you know replace the column in the actual or main data set it is just going to rename over here only and uh, you will get the desired result okay so i think these all scenarios are for merge and uh, i will cover advanced merge which is you know, uh, used to create the left join or right join or full join so that i will cover in the next video